Okay, today something a little bit off the topic of uh, movies, which I won't do too often, but uh, video games. Uh, big fan of video games, you know. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about this game right here. Fire Pro Wrestling Returns. This is the Japanese cover. Um, I'll show you the American cover. This is basically the American cover here. Right there. Uh, very cool. Put out by uh, H-Tech and Spike. I think it came out around 2007 here in North America. But uh, people had been importing it. And... Uh, downloading it on torrents for 10, 11, 12 plus years. Uh, I originally got it when it came out at my uh, GameStop in 2007, like I said, I think it was. Uh, I didn't really know about it, even though, you know, I've watched wrestling since I was just a little guy. Uh, and I'm pretty knowledgeable about wrestling, you know. I know it's fake. Oh, what? Doesn't bother me. Uh, I enjoy the spectacle of it. Uh, I enjoy the characters in it. But uh, anyway, I digress. I walked into my GameStop and I saw this in their new section in 2007. And I was like, huh. Fire Pro Wrestling Returns? Never heard of it. There's the full on American cover. I just slid out the Japanese thing. Yeah, this is what I originally picked up. Looked at that. Looked at the back. Customization. I was like, oh yeah, okay. You know, I'd played the SmackDown game for years and I can make my own wrestlers, you know, but those are very limited move wise and stuff. So I was like, oh, 20 bucks? Hell, I'll give this a try. I bought it and at first, you know, it's, it's not really user-friendly the interface you know they don't really explain a lot of like the customization and stuff it's it's kind of a little bit hard to figure out at first uh, so it, it kinda of got put on the shelf for a while and then I discovered um, some websites online uh, fire pro club mainly and I started looking on there and I was like holy moly there's a lot of stuff on here because as of that time when I bought it, there was already people playing it for years before. Like I said, they imported it or downloaded the torrent or whatever, and they've been playing it and creating. You know, they have their own leagues and everything like that. And then I discovered that you could download packs, save packs that people had made uh, with real-life wrestlers. You know, like... You want Stone Cold Steve Austin, okay? They made him. They gave him all his moves. And he's in the game. You download those packs, you put them on your USB, and you plug your USB into your PS2, and you load them to your memory card, and you got everything done. Now, that's just the surface. Um, this game is deep. And when I say deep, first off, it comes preloaded with 300 wrestlers. Um, they look like wrestlers you might know, but they all have fake names, so I don't really think anybody uses those. They do their own creations. Um, but it has spots on here. You can make and save 500, 500 created wrestlers. And the customization in this game is so deep that even though it came out all those years ago, if a wrestler debuts in WWE, TNA, Ring of Honor, somewhere in Japan, somewhere in Mexico, you can make them in this game. And chances are, their moves will be in this game. I mean, this game has almost 2,000 different wrestling moves. And compared to the SmackDown games, 
that's almost tenfold. Uh, a lot of people on this game don't actually play the game. They do simulations where you have, you know, computer against computer character. But the thing with that is that this has a system on it called logic, where you can basically go through and down to the littlest detail, make the wrestler perform how you want them to perform. If you want them to come balls out, hitting people with elbows and everything else, you can make them do that. If you want to make them try to end the match as quick as possible by damaging them and then hitting them with their finisher move, you can do that. If you want to make it a uh, technical match and have both wrestlers wrestle a 20-25 minute half hour match, you can tweak it to do that. Any little thing you want your wrestler to do, you can almost make them like a breathing human living being. You can give them that logic to do that. And with almost 2,000 moves, everything is in there. And this is just a simple game. But let me show you this right here. This is something I downloaded from the uh, Fire Pro website. The simple little game. And yet, this is the guide that the people on that Fire Pro Club made. And this is really necessary if you want it. This tells you basic controls, edit modes, computer logic, miscellaneous options, height and weight conversions, move list. I mean, the move list alone. I mean, you know, it's insane. But it tells you every little thing on how to perfect the game. How to set your wrestler to do what you want it to do. Everything. So that simple $20 little game, in my opinion, for a fan of wrestling, is hands down the greatest wrestling game of all time. And this just came out, I think, in April on the PlayStation 3, the PSN Network. Now, I don't have a PS3, but I'll tell you what. I'm probably going to get one really soon, and that'll be the first thing I do is download this game on there, because the people have already done the thing to where you can do your own save packs on there too. So yeah, if you like wrestling, if you love wrestling, and you want a different wrestling game, an experience that once you get into it will last forever pick up this game. This is what I call a desert island game. If I'm on a desert island, this is one of the games that I'm taking with me because it does not get boring at all. Whether you play it, whether you do simulation, creation, I guarantee you 10 years from now a wrestler debuts, you'll be able to make him in this. Buy this game if you like wrestling. Give it a try. Go to Fire Pro Club, or I think uh, Fire Pro Arena. Uh, Fire Pro Wrestling Arena, FPW Arena, their website. Go there, but definitely check it out if you're a fan. This is, my, I think, my longest video. If it was boring, sorry about that. But uh, I just had to talk about that. I know it's not movie-related, but I had to get that out there just because it's such a good game. Thanks for watching.